Conditional formatting is a powerful feature that allows you to dynamically format cells based on specific criteria, bringing attention to important trends, patterns, and outliers in your data. Whether you want to highlight high or low values, identify duplicates, create data bars, or even apply custom formulas, conditional formatting can let you do that with just few clicks. That being said, hello everyone, welcome to today's session on conditional formatting in Excel. First of all, let me tell you guys a little bit about what exactly the conditional formatting is and what purpose it's going to serve. So guys, conditional formatting in Excel is like having a superpower that automatically changes the appearances of cells based on certain rules you set. It's a cool feature that helps you highlight and emphasize important things in your data without having to manually do it yourself. Imagine you have a bunch of numbers in different cells and you want to quickly identify which ones are highest or lowest. With conditional formatting, you can make Excel automatically color those cells in a certain way like turning them green for high values or red for low values. This way you can instantly spot the important numbers without having to search through the whole spreadsheet. Not only that, but you can also use conditional formatting to spot patterns, find duplicates, or even create progress bars. For example, if you have a list of student grades, you can use conditional formatting to automatically highlight the highest and lowest grades or give a color-coded progress bar to each student based on their performance. The best part is that you can easily customize the rules for conditional formatting according to your needs. You can choose different colors, icons, or even create your own formulas to determine how the cells should be formatted. It's a clever way to make your data more visually appealing and easier to understand. So think of conditional formatting as your secret helper in Excel that saves you time and makes your data look more organized and meaningful. It's a fantastic tool for anyone who wants to make their spreadsheet more visually engaging and gain insights from their data with just a glance. Now let us visit Excel and see how all of the said activities can be achieved with conditional formatting functionality. Let us start with basic functionality that you can use conditional formatting for. So guys, we have this small data over here which highlights the products available in a store and the amount they were sold for in a last month. We also have columns such as region where they were sold as well as the category that they belong to. Now let's say we want to highlight the products that made sales below $2000. Now we could achieve this in just a few clicks. Let me tell you guys how. So what we do is we select this sales figure column given over here. And inside the home tab itself, we choose this option of conditional formatting. After choosing conditional formatting, we'll get a multitude of options. For this particular scenario, we want to highlight the products that made sales for less than $2,000. So we'll simply choose highlight sale rules and then less than option. Next, we'll put the number 2000 over here in this particular field. And on the right hand side, you can see the option for coloring these certain fields. So here we have red color by default, but you can do a lot of manual changes according to you. For that, you'll have to click on this custom format button. Once you do this, a new tab will appear where you can manage the font, the number format, the border, as well as the fill you want in that particular field. But I'm okay with the by default option, so I'm going to stick with them. So I'll just hit the OK button. And here you can see that we have got the records highlighted in red that are below $2,000. All right. Okay. Now let me show you one more example where we can put Excel conditional formatting to use. Let's say that we have a bunch of medicines stored in an inventory and we want to remove those that are really close to their expiry dates. This can be achieved with just a few clicks using Excel conditional formatting. Let me show you guys how to do that. 
so first of all what we'll do is we'll select this expiry date column and then we'll head over to the conditional formatting there we'll choose highlight cell rules and there we have option of a date occurring we'll simply select this option and once selecting we'll see the format where we are supposed to give the date so here we have yesterday by default we'll change it to this week and we are okay with this particular formatting so we'll just hit on okay and here you can see that the medicines that are going to expire this week have been highlighted in red color over here i hope this is clear to you guys next we'll cover how we can highlight duplicates with the conditional formatting feature we have this customer reviews data over here and we want to check if there are any duplicates over this data in order to check that what we'll do is we'll select this customer name column for the first and then we'll click on this option of conditional formatting after that we'll choose the highlight sales rules section there towards the bottom we'll find this functionality of duplicate values now we'll select it and since the strategy is duplicate itself we'll hit on ok button and here we can see that the duplicate records in our data has been highlighted in red color all right guys so these were the basic functionalities that conditional formatting has to offer but we can do much more by creating custom conditional formatting formulas let me show you that as well till the time we just highlighted the values across a particular column but what if i want to highlight the whole row instead of just highlighting a certain value for example instead of just highlighting the name john smith i want to highlight the whole four numbered row is that possible well that is also possible with conditional formatting let me tell you guys how we'll use this particular data over here so basically this data contains the sales record for a vehicle showroom we have the sales person name then sell amount sold units as well as the commission rates as columns over here now we want to highlight the rows for the top 3 sales person in our data based on the amount of sales they made now how can we do that well we'll have to put the custom formula to use over here first of all let's try to build the logic for the formula remember guys creating formulas is quite a tricky part hence it's always a better idea to check your formula in the worksheet itself before you apply it in the conditional formatting field okay so first of all we'll create the logic for our formula over here so what we'll do is we'll type equal to rank dot avj so rank dot average is a function that we are going to use over here now we'll have to pass the parameters first parameter here is going to be value whose rank we want to determine so let's pick any random value out of the sales amount column suppose i put this particular value now i'll add the comma next we'll have to pass the range where we want to find the rank so we'll have to select the whole column of sell amount so we'll simply select the whole column now next we have to provide the kind of ordering we want our data to be done on here we want the sale amount at the top so we'll choose the descending formatting and zero is the argument that represents descending ranking so we'll put zero over here and we'll simply close this box and now once we hit the enter we'll get the rank of this particular cell across the whole column so this person ethan over here is ranking third in our monthly sales report right i hope now that you guys have got some idea about how this formula is going to work next let us select the data and create the conditional formatting for our data set so i have selected the whole data now i'll go into the conditional formatting and then i'll go into the section of new rule 
Now once we do that, this new pop-up window will arrive on our screens. Now what we'll do is we'll select the formula type. We'll choose the option of use a formula to determine which cells to format. Once we do that, the box to insert the formula will appear on our screens. Now here we'll start adding our formula. So equal to rank dot avj first we'll select this particular record but we'll have to change the reference style here we just want dollar b4 if we put dollar b dollar 4 then that becomes the absolute reference but we actually don't want that we want to pass the whole column so we'll press f4 till the time we get dollar b4 and here we have got dollar b4 next we'll add the range so the range is going to be the whole sale amount column and then we'll add zero to get the ordering in descending format next we'll close this function all right with this function what we have got is just a ranking but we only want to highlight salespersons who have got top three cells and to get that done we can simply add comparable conditions with the ranking results so we'll add less than or equal to condition over here and we'll compare it with number three ahead of it right now this will provide us with top three records in our table next we'll have to edit the preview format as well here what we'll do is we'll set the color as green and we'll set font to be bold and italic okay now we'll hit on ok button and we'll apply our formula to our data and here you can see that the records that are ranked top three are visible in green color over here now i hope the functionalities of conditional formatting are clear to all of you guys out there these were just the examples of how you could put conditional formatting to use there are more formulas more functionalities this conditional formatting can serve so take a deep dive into this particular tool and practice it over the data set you guys have having said that Thank you guys for being here till the end of this video. I hope the video was informative for all of you guys. If you have liked it, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across more tech updates like this one. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced Excel course. Through this course, you will learn Excel workbook, tables, cells, creating dashboard, interactive components, charting, filtering, sorting, pivot table, and data processing with real-world data sets. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in a successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel, whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your careers to new heights. Repeat, without a doubt, this course can set your careers to new heights. So visit the course page link given in the regular. Repeat, so visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first steps towards a career growth in the field of Microsoft Excel.